Hi all, welcome back to Odo 17 development tutorial. Today, in this video, let us discuss about action types and object type button in Odo 17. Odo contains two types of button, they are object type and action type. For that, I have created a, uh, but two buttons here. So let's go to the PyCharm. In the PyCharm, I have created a model that is tips and tricks. I have all, uh, I've added some of the fields here. And I have created a view for it so you can see the form view. And in the form view, inside the header tag, I have added two buttons here. And the buttons are of two types. That is here you can see the type actions and type object. Uh, so first of all, let's look how can we create object type button. In the case of object type, here you can see that in the inside the name, I have defined a method here. So uh, in the uh, button, uh, if the button is of type object, then the Python method uh, mentioned in the name attribute of the button will be executed on the button click. So let's go to the Python file and check the uh, method. So here I've defined uh, a simple function that is, here you can see the name action confirm. Here I've defined a simple function that when the particular button is clicked, the state has will be changed into the then state. So you can see that in the uh, XML. So here in the button, I have defined the name and also the type here you can see the type and i have added the string for this particular button that is confirm uh, i have given the confirm uh, as the string for the particular button and also i have added class and here i mentioned a invisible condition that is when the particular uh, uh, particular button or particular uh, state has been in the done state then this particular button should be invisible so let's go to the ui and check and in the UI, you can see the button confirm here, the string I've given in the XML. So here, when the, but, uh, when the button is clicked, the state will be changing to the done state. So you can see the state has been changed to done state and the button has been invisible. So that is how we create the object type button. And in the case of action type, let's go to the PyCharm and check. In the case of action type, here you can see the action type button here. I have added the class here and also I am given a string that is create quotation. So the action type, in the case of action type, uh, it is possible to call an action record using this button. So uh, on clicking this particular button, it will be redirecting here. I have given that uh, on clicking this particular uh, button, we can create a new sale order or new quotation can be created. So for that here you can see the way I have give, mentioned the name, that is I have mentioned the name here, oh, sorry, the uh, action type here. So you can see that inside the, uh, the sale CRM module, inside the sale CRM module, there is an action type that is sale action quotation new. So if we search here, you can see that, you can see the record. Here you can see the action that already here, that is, uh, there's an action to create a new quotation inside the sale CRM module. So I have called this sale CRM uh, action here. And also I have given condition, uh, as I told, I have given condition that when the state is in done state, this particular button will be invisible. So this is how we give the action type. Uh, we will give the action type name. So that is module name dot action. Here you can see the action here. And if we go and check the UI here, you can let me create a new one. And if we click the create quotation button here, you can create a new quotation. It will be redirected here. So here you can create a new quotation can be created. So here you can give the sale order details and like that you can create a new quotation can be created. So that's how we create the uh, action type button. So this is how we create uh, action type and object type button in order 17. Thank you.